Red lights are flashing. The favourite occupies gate one. They're racing, no say in it. Dwelt at the start. Glimmer Girl went back as well. And missing it also there as they settle into stride. Deeper out is Gunner Gabe, but foreseen flew the lids. And at the end of 150 leads the way. War Jeune pulling hard around the outside, getting fired up there. Goes up now and sits outside of foreseen. They settle two and a half in front. He's got a real handful here underneath him with War Jeune. He wants to rip and tear, so he can't hold him any slower. And he allows him to run, and the pace got really turned up. And so he goes to the top now here on War Journal, a length and a half foreseen. Senzo down on the inside chasing Chaos. Around the outside of those then is Gonna Go. Travelin is next. Down on the inside, the favourite Cash on Call. A length and a half to Cruishan outside. No say in it. Followed further back by Gamer Whipple. And last of all is Glimmer Girl. Up nearing the home corner with about 500 left to travel. And War Journal, who wanted to rip and tear early on in the race, leads the way with foreseen. The eight-year-old is off the rails now, driving up right behind him then the baldy face chasing chaos following its stable mate coming into the bend Senzo gonna go to the outside from Travelin cash on call with Pike looking for an inside run 250 to go War Jeune's the leader on the outside is Senzo his cash on call getting home along the rail from chasing chaos Gamer Whipple and Kruishan they're across the track getting through cash on call he goes through in the centre down the outside Gamer Whipple in a three way go Gamer Whipple cash on call and Kruishan in the centre not sure leave this one to the judge, a blanket finish. Behind them then came close up. Next is Gonna Go, and also towards the inside, no say in it. Chasing Chaos, followed then by Travelin. At the head of the others was Foreseen, Glimmer Girl, and Senzo pulling up quickly. Very tight here. Crua, oh, out wide, Gamer Whipple, and uh, Crua Hahn in the centre, and Cash on call over on the inside. Very, very close. It may be Crua Hahn in front of Gamer Whipple and Cash on call. Numbers are about to go up. What's won this, Wes? There's no numbers in the frame. Is it Gamer Whipple the outside? Is it Crua Hahn in the centre? I think uh, Cash on call has definitely missed out. I think Crua Hahn may have had his nose down at the the right time from Goma Whipple. It's between those two. I think you'll find cash on call will be third, but what a great finish. Here's the shutter cam. Who's got the nose right down? Goma... Oh, Ooh, dear geez. me. That is close. The cash on call's not that far away. No. Cash on call is over on the inside. It's Goma Whipple the widest and Kruahan just inside it. And the, the, the low angle didn't tell us a lot. If anything, it showed maybe Kruahan with the nose in front. Here's the head on. Uh, Pike going for that uh, rails run on cash on call. Just came around that horse in front of him, Wall Jeune, who'd worked really hard. And it looked like he might have had the run and the momentum to go on with it. But look at these two winding up out wide. Gamer Whipple the widest, Kruahan inside it. And still no numbers up here on the second desperately close. The shutter cam would suggest it's close enough to a dead heat. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? Uh, I think, if anything, those two, as you mentioned, Greg, they had the momentum out wide, and Cash on Call just got going a little bit too late and couldn't really get going quick and up enough. These other two certainly had the momentum, and I think it's between those two, and just having another look now, I, I can't split them. All right. When they turn for home, Kruahan in those black colours, we just can't spot Gamer Wimple uh, early in the straight. Here it comes now. Pike gets off the fence and chases on cash on call. And here comes Kruahan and Goma Wimple out wide. They grab War Jeune and on the line, no idea. <laughs> and cash on call is in this. He's been beaten by the other two, hasn't he? Well, I, d I don't know. Just having a look at the replay again, um, anything's can possible. We sh can we see that shutter cam one more time from the guys in the truck? Don't si think... Simon Miller thinks he might have won. He just asked us, did I get there? And don't forget, Greg, I wear designer glasses these days, so my eyesight isn't that good. Here's Here the we shutter go. cam. Yeah, Cash on calls missed out on that. Yes. He's yes. run third. Yeah. But I think Kruahan's got it on that. Well, Simon Miller thinks he's won, Gareth. He does, he does, Greg. And Simon, you think you've got the chocolates here. Oh, I do, but um, you know, we, need, we need a bit of luck. We had bad luck in the last one, so we'll see. On live, I thought we did the same. I reckon we've got to buy a nose, but... Um, this horse deserves a photo finish. Yeah, I know, I know. So do I. I'm a battler. Well, I, I, I think he's going to win it, but I think he's going to have to share it. I think he's going to have to share it. It's a dead heat. It's a dead heat. That's all you, right, mate. You were yeah, half look, right. Half right. I was half right. 
We might see if we can catch up with Vaughan Sigley quickly, Greg. And Vaughan's over here. I don't think he can believe it either, Vaughan. Game of Whipple down the outside. Did you think you had it? Uh, the f on, on the first one, I thought I'd run third. But uh, on the slow-mo, we thought he might have got it. But, uh, yeah, very, very close. He went super. Yeah, he did. Very good run. Yeah, no, we're looking, we're looking forward to uh, a little bit more from this bloke. So, yeah, no, very happy. Well done. Top. Dead heat, Greg. Dead heat. Kruahan, Gamer Whipple, and Cash on Call has run third. That number not up in the frame yet, but it will be. Seven and eight, dead heat here in race number two. A quick break, then off to Rose Hill. Aaron Mitchell and Troy Turner dead heating here. We might get these two boys together if we can. Jagsy, Troy, we've got to come over here for a quick interview with Aaron Mitchell. First of all, I'll ask Troy, did you think you had it on the outside with the momentum? Actually, um, I thought um, the inside might have just got me on the line. I think I might have just got the right bobbing, but um, yeah, I, I thought that wasn't a bad result considering I thought I got beat. Your horse went super. Yeah, he ran a good race first up. He may have just weakened a bit at the end, but um, even though he's coming home, he, he um, definitely would benefit from the run. Well done. Thank you. There's Troy Turner, Aaron Mitchell. Geez, this horse has been in some really close finishes of late. Yeah, he has. Um, he was ve run very honest today. Um, he looked the winner at the top of the straight, and um, to be honest with you, I didn't know when we got to the line, but um, no, we're happy with the way the horse has been. Well done, mate. Thank you. There's Aaron Mitchell and Troy Turner after dead heating the second here on Railway Stakes Day and cash on call. A nose away back in third. 785, the numbers after the second. After the running of a great finish in the second. The first of listed races today is the Carbine Club of WA Stakes at 144. And there are no changes, no changes here to race number three.